Welcome back guys to another video. Um so today's plan the plan for today's video is actually originally supposed to um be a hiking video but Jared backed out on me um so just kinda stuck here at home wanting to record a video so I thought maybe it's a really good idea to make a video on some of my most favorite moments of season one so we're just gonna hop on the computer here and we're gonna take a look and see um but we have two hikes planned uh we got valley of fire which was supposed to be today's video and then we have turtlehead peak we're making the return to those two spots but i also have myself a new lavalier microphone system so now whenever we go hiking or we're doing some sort of video with another person, I can mic them up and we'll be able just to hear our voices. Um, also, go ahead and check the link down in the description below. You can get yourself some pretty good merch from my channel. But anyway, let's go ahead and let's hop on to today's video. Alright guys, so this is... Our very first hike that we've ever done. This was over at Exploration Peak Park. So, this is our very first introduction, I think, with Jared. Um, so let's go. Let's watch a little bit of this here. Welcome, guys, to another episode. Me and Jared here are going to be going to Exploration Peak Mountain in Mountain's Edge, Las Vegas. So, um, we're gonna be stopping at McDonald's or Burger King, whichever pops up first. Grab ourselves some breakfast and then we'll be hitting the road over there. So I will see you later. If you ever feel so yeah, we just had it over to McDonald's, yada, yada, yada. Um, I just want to say how Dumb I was for including this. I mean, this here was just very long. There's, I have a lot of regrets for some of the older videos I filmed. Like, why would I include this? Uh, uh, this is us at uh, the park at Exploration Peak. There used to be a massive rope tower right there, right where those rock climbing. Right now, I'm pretty sure that those little rock climbing things right there are gone. It was even more challenging than climbing that because they were ropes. Yeah. Now this is back when I recorded on my phone, and I was so camera shy. I didn't want to point my camera upwards. I didn't want my my biggest fear was to point it at somebody and have them get mad at me. Ow. Yeah, careful. This place is built for a little kids. Yeah. Ow, my head. You want to try to... You want to film me doing this? It's already filming. Now, my biggest regret for this video was this outfit. I had emo-looking pants on. I had my shirt tucked in. And I had... a leg holster with a water bottle attached to it. I'm like, what was I thinking? This is not a hiking outfit. Awesome. Luckily, yeah. stuff has changed for the better. Now, most of the video is actually filmed at the park. Oh. I did not include yeah, any actually, of the I, climb, I any of the hiking, or anything like that up until we got to the top of the mountain. Which should be... Where else in the playground? Here we are, Exploration Peak. I did not want to film the way up because it was treacherous. I call bullshit. That is not nearly as treacherous as some of the hikes we've been on since then. That is the easiest hike we could ever do. I mean, I'll show this to you right now. Thank <laughs> you. 
And it's fucking hot right now as well. I'm trying to do this without falling. I, I can't show you the full off. trail because I'll slide, but that's. I was just a chicken shit for this one. Now, our next video brings us to when we went to the spot for the very first time, which in this video we called it the middle of nowhere. So a little insight why we don't want people knowing about this is because they will, the way to get in is through a neighborhood, and um, we don't want to cause any trouble because the neighborhood is HOA, and uh, they will completely lock, us, lock it all up to where no one can get there. That's why we keep this place such a secret, but anyway, here we go. This is with Ross. We need to bring Ross back on the channel. He's in Reno now for school, though. Yeah. The lightning was crazy last night. I saw that shit through my window. The hissing is... Okay. Now, one thing I want to say is, for all of every single time we've been at the spot, I think this is our only video where we actually went to the uh, little graffiti area. I think this is the only video. I'll find out soon. Got this. Okay. Quiet. Now, see, this the reason why we every video we do, we don't come up to this whole area is that after it rains or if it's been really humid, water will start to accumulate here, and there is always hornets and wasps. And I try to avoid places like that that have those things. Our turtle head peak video, which I was obviously. I was Recording with my phone, I was just doing my classic mirror thing. Welcome back, guys. Long mm -hmm. intro for this one. But. And I want to comment on my hair. My hair was insane for I most of these videos from season him. one. He has a katana. It's a big, uh, it's a bigger. I wear hats now, so I don't really have to worry about this. Call it like a Bowie knife or something. A Bowie knife? It identifies as a Bowie knife. Okay. <laughs> Definitely an iconic moment for me and Jared right there. <laughs> oh, we'll see you at the gate. Hello. Hello. Getting gas. I might need it. So, okay. The seeing this, seeing this is in person is actually very frightening. But Jared, that tall mountain right there. Yeah. That's Turtle Head Peak. Oh. Nice. So we have to go all the way Steven up there. fucking white again because he get uh, because guess what? He said. Okay, you got your five minutes, stranger. Quarry. Just gonna wait for the heat coming from Jared be. after this. Gets um, up. Well, this is up. Now this clip here could have really not been needed because I was just taking off my hat. Alright, taking a little bit of a break. We still have a little ways to go to the top. Now, the one thing I really hated about filming with my phone was the wind. I film with a GoPro and a Sony, Z, a Sony ZV-1 right now, and the wind is not as bad as when I recorded with my phone. Uh, when we did the spot climb video, the first video with the GoPro, that was a humongous upgrade. Anyway, here we go. And this was a hat in my... Uh... Alright. I wouldn't. But it looks like the climb might be a little treacherous, but we'll see what we can do. Coming soon, Turtlehead Peak. We will see actually how treacherous that climb is that I mentioned. Powering through this. Uh, 
This is absolutely amazing. Yeah, thanks for uh, suggesting the idea. Yeah. The same argument that can be applied to money applies to the uh, applies to living. Ah! Fuck. 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 We're being fuck, a chicken fuck, shit fuck, with fuck. bees. Stop fucking woo! You eat itself that way. <laughs> Now this is one of my favorite videos of season one. My one of my top favorites is when when we went to Prim. We went to Prim to go see the Bonnie and Clyde Death Claw. And uh, then we went to Good Springs and then we went to Seven Magic Mountains. Um so let's go on this good show. Alright, off to Prim we In this video I put in a little bit more effort into editing with my phone, even though I was filming with my phone. Yeah. At Prim, the other Las Vegas. We are here at the Prim Valley Resort and Casino to see the Bonnie and Clyde Death Car. That's heading. Now this is one of the when I filmed this video and we walked into the casino. No, it was near, around Christmas time. So when we walk in, there's Christmas. Flame, but there is no soul in sight. This casino was so empty. And I think this was also on a Sunday morning, too, if I'm not mistaken. So I kind of figured with it being the weekend that there'd be people there. No. But with how empty this casino was, with the Christmas music playing, it had a very eerie feeling. Now, uh, I wasn't paying attention watching this. If this was Buffalo Bills, I do have a, I have an idea. I found out that casino is haunted, and I want to create go there, get a room for the night, create a paranormal investigation video, and just see if we can capture anything. Here we go. This is weird. This is actually weird. There's like nobody fucking here, and it's dark as hell. Yeah, this is like... <laughs> now I'm really surprised I didn't get a copyright strike on this video for the Christmas music. Well, just a Buffalo Bills. Nobody so in sight. Pete's. It was here, and now it's at Buffalo Bills. So we're just gonna do a little Okay, we are at McDonald's. <laughs> we are at McDonald's now. Alright, here we go. Yeah. Why well, didn't I put in a little bit? Uh, this was the Bonnie and Clyde death car. So when I made this video, I made it to be a new series called The Adventures Across the West. So far, it has two videos. It has this video. Sorry. It has this video, and it has the um, Nelson Ghost Town video. Essentially, the whole premise behind Adventures Across the West is to... Uh, go through different ghost towns and stuff like that with history in Nevada and see if, you know, learn a little bit about the history, cowboys, outlaws, Native Americans, so stuff like that. So now in this part, we're in good... good. Cowboy town where the cowboys were on this area over 200 years ago. It was pretty cool. Good Springs is very laid back. There's people that live there. It's mainly an elder community. But one day we, I do plan on going back there. <laughs> no, I didn't. I don't think I got seven magic mountains in the video, which is very depressing. So we stopped at the Pioneer Saloon, which I'm under 21, and I'm fortunate I couldn't make it inside the saloon itself. But we went to the gift shop right here in the store, which is pretty awesome. Not gonna lie, it was really cool. Now this is the big video at the. This, this time I recorded this, this was my largest video I ever made. It was dropping out at an hour and 15 minutes long, almost. This is a, a full rock climb at the spot. This was the first video I had with a GoPro. So I was still learning, you know, the basics with the GoPro. And um, was dealing with several SD card issues that would go on for like several more videos. And so I got a new SD card, and I wouldn't have those issues anymore. But 
Uh, essentially, when I inserted the SD card, turned it on, start recording, it would say that, yeah, I need to reformat the card, that there was a card error. And that kind of just was annoying, but I still pushed through. So let's... So fortunately, if you haven't seen this video, or if you tried seeing it and saw a black screen, the black screen goes away um, after a few seconds or a minute or so. It was just like a error in recording, and I didn't know what happened until after I posted the video. But it goes away at like the 47 second mark. We're getting out of the car, stuff like that. Uh, I'm just gonna fast forward. Let's just climb. So, this was like our first look at how we climb and all this type of stuff. Which I actually thought was the coolest thing ever that I could mount a GoPro on my body and watch myself climb. I kept on re watching this video for days on end. Yeah, it's essentially the premise behind this. You gotta send a quick snap to my friend. Over here on the top somewhere having a break. Yo, Ross, we're never gonna believe, you're never gonna believe what I just did. Just exploring a little okay. bit. But yeah, that's essentially it. And now this video, oh my god, this video is a pain in the ass. Jared, if you're watching this, respect to you. You probably have some health issues or whatnot preventing you from hiking. But oh my god, in the moment, you pissed me off. So um, essentially what happened was we were going to try our hands again at Turtle Head Peak. Well, we kind of got off course after over the course of time and just went did some climbing off off the trail a little bit but before that we were actually going to head up to triple head peak and jared was like man i can't do this i can't do this that part didn't piss me off it was the three trips off the trail back to the car trail back to car that we had to make to load off some gear and stuff like that that's what made me mad the most but here anyway, welcome back here, guys doing that intro as usual Come on. Yeah. What? Probably the bad sign. That like hurts. Yeah, here it is. This is like it doesn't it's not unbearable pain. Yeah, then I cut your back to the like like so. I didn't really get a lot of what we explored on video, which was depressing. But that was yes. the result of the SD card giving failures. And I'm like, no, I'm not putting up with this right now. But I'm not really gonna go through this video in particular a lot, so we're just gonna skip off to the next. Now this video is was my is still my most favorite video I have ever made. We went to Valley of Fire State Park for the first time, and um, we did ghost hunting, and we camped out there for most of the day, and. It was the coolest experience I ever had. It was my first time ever going camping. And I really got to teach myself a lot during it. With survival and cooking and managing a campfire. All this type of stuff. And we even got some paranormal instances that happened there. And um, yeah, let's just watch a little bit of this, shall we? So we'll just the intro for a little bit we are here at the historic cabins at this segment here essentially like this oh, kind of so thing we do before we check into our campground at two o'clock see you guys in a bit now there's only one thing i hate there's two things i hate about going to valley of fire it's the two and a half hour trip there and it's when you turn right onto valley of fire road is so not only is it desolate but it's so poorly maintained there's curves on the road and on the way back that night we it was in the middle of the night and we were jared was kind of speeding a little bit and we didn't see a turn a curve in the road coming up and we almost drove straight off the road like it's so bad and then here i i was trying to get some thermal um, for to see if we can capture anything out in the desert but oh there we go had that. And I did a recap video on some when I found some more footage on the camera. I, know, I went over some more of that footage 
Sorry, I forgot some tuning here. All right, right. welcome, like cabins. guys. We have made it to the historic cabins. I got nothing. All right, let's go. Cool. <laughs> to the cabins. Yay. Like I was saying earlier, these cabins here are used for visitors to camp out in. Um, what the one panel, I, we went in here and did but some investigating. Here, we're going to be very respectful to you. Hello, knock knock. Are you in here? Hello. We didn't capture much during the no, day, but I did, disrespect. when it went off a little bit, I did hear a whisper. I just hear in the window. Yeah, if there's any like, spirits here, or ghosties, or... You can use the energy from this device. We might be coming back here later on tonight, if you are. Which we eventually did, but my camera batteries died, and didn't get that on video. I got it on my camcorder. Which, I think that some of those are kind of corrupted. So, the, when we went back to the cabins, it's unfortunately not anywhere to be found. Here. Now let's go ahead and let's head over to the campsite. The communication app. Okay. Did you see how I'm put on? Okay. So this is me maintaining and starting trying to start the campfire, which was a pain. The biggest enemy we had for this video was keeping the campfire alive. I only had these little packets that were fire starters and we ran out of them they would not stay lit it was kind of breezy out so i had eventually i had jared leave me at the campsite and go over to the gift shop where she found the best fire starters i have ever seen um we eventually went to our correct campsite because we were at the wrong one the whole time without knowing it and we had a really good campfire Get this one this year. So I uh, will see you soon. Now, right. in this segment here, in a few seconds, oh. let's, uh, let's pray that this actually works this time. During the filming of this clip, uh, Jared decides to come back from using the restroom and sneak up behind me and do something really gay. We like to mess around, and it kind of pisses me off when I'm recording because I mean that gives us a really bad look. I was like right there. Now, I was so worried. After I sent Jared to go to the gift shop, I, we had, I had one way of communicating with him because we have no cell service. I had a walkie-talkie he gave me. And I did a little small little test just to see if he could hear me. Well, I was leaving and we could hear him. But then eventually he went out of the radio range and I really lost all contact with him. So I was so worried that he got into an accident or something like that. And I was just going to be stranded there. But now we're at the hour set, you know what I'm And essentially the just the let's chill for the rest of the night. This wasn't one of my favorite videos. It's my favorite video for one reason. It's because I actually go, went to go out of state once. I went to Ohio, but I was there under really bad circumstances. So my grandmother passed away. And uh, that's essentially why we, well, why we were there, was to take care of all of that. But this is where you kind of get to see my mom. You have no, I haven't introduced my mom to the channel. She doesn't really care to be part of YouTube or anything like that. Um, but you, you'll see clips of her throughout. The whole we went through um the airport different um airports along the way like we went to Chicago. Um, yeah, so it was really awesome to go to another state, but it was really a big pain because I haven't flown in such a long time and it really gave me terrible headaches. And when I eventually came back to Vegas after our second flight back, I got really sick. Like, really sick. But this is SOS in Chicago. This is cool. Because we're in Chicago. But yeah. Now this video, 
Well, it definitely tested us as human beings. So this was at our on our hike at Gold Strike Hot Springs in Lake Mead. And after this, after we recorded this video, we were in such bad shape. We had to, uh, it was about two miles. We had to walk back and climb ro climb ropes and all this type of stuff, really exerting a lot of energy. And um, this is one of our hikes that we are going to come back to. So the whole reason why we didn't finish was because of the fact that one of the ropes we had to climb down looked really deadly and it's like we do not want to risk it. So we're going to be coming back here that, um, for season two. For sure. But this is also one of our longer videos, so... Uh, can I get like a clip of us climbing down the ropes? There we go. There's not really much to it. I mean, we're just going to yeah. That looks like a slide down. But this is kind of my first time ever climbing ropes. I was really nervous doing it. Okay, put this step right there. Whoa. Again, another really cool moment to have on a GoPro. Okay. Whew. I also almost died during this. I don't think it was this particular rope, but it was another rope, which is actually in the video as it happened. So I got this on camera. I didn't get a good view because I'm not backpack sitting down. But I was coming down the rope, right? And uh, I started swaying back and forth, and I almost hit my noggin on a rock. So, yeah. Just going to head over to the next one. Now, we're as we're coming closer towards the end of Season 1, we're gonna start doing a little bit of something different, okay? So this one, I've been researching a ghost town called Nelson Ghost Town, and I wanted to check it out. So we went to it's within the Lake Mead Recreation Area. It's just down the road from this place called Nelson's Landing, and we got to see how redneck people can be outside of Las Vegas during this one. All right, welcome guys. Uh, we are now on our. But there's a lot of cool stuff there. There's some classic cars. You can do a mine tour. It's like an over glorified ghost town. Unfortunately, we couldn't film the mine tour because they didn't hey, want us to. Hey, yo, come on. I gotta to. call my wife. But I wanted. We brought some EMF readers and a spare box around to see if there would be anything out there, which we didn't capture anything. We got some voices, but I don't think that they were legit. Not that we were using. But we went inside this church and we conducted a small little mini oh, investigation like session. Oh, this is a perfect so, photo opportunity. Then, when we were done yeah, looking for everything, we while we were done looking for everything, we decided to head over to Nelson's Landing. So, this is sitting in the car. All right. And we find a spot on Google Maps right at the base of the consequences to high altitude. So I can Which yes, that's another thing. This was high altitude, so I can barely hear shit during the whole trip. Can't really hear shit right now. Let's take a look at this shit. If I drop my phone in here, and then it's this, be this happened, so which is kind of funny. You, all you will see is me jump inside the fucking water and grab my phone. Actually, it wasn't right here. I accidentally yeah. tripped yeah, inside I mean, the water. It was kind of funny. Oh. Holy shit. Ghost. Well, let's feel the water. Oh. Okay? Ah. <laughs> For being March, that water was extremely cold. I mean, obviously it's March, temperatures are still cool, but it was a lot, very cold. Now, this is our very last video, technically, of season one. Although we do move on, temperatures start to get warmer, we do move on to do some more ghost hunting. We try out the app called Randonautica. I'm not going to include those ones. Um. So, essentially, how I'm doing things is in the fall and winter months, we're going to be doing our hiking, camping, the occasional ghost hunt, 
And then when it starts to get warmer, spring, summertime, we're going to be doing randonautica and bush hunting. So that's going to be our main things we're doing. Um, but this is our last outdoors experience of season one. This is when our we reached 1,000 subscribers. And we went camping for our 1,000 subscriber special at Red Rock Canyon. So I eventually got myself a tent from Bass Pro Shops and a power inverter and more boxes, and we head out on to the campground. Explanatory. Got some of the stuff here unpacked. We got the fi all the fire stuff that we're going to be using. It's uh, really yeah. That's so it's just, pretty much, there's nothing much to this video today. anymore, so. Alright guys, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, not really much here to say, except thank you guys for an amazing season one. And as we progress further, further into season two, we are going to be doing some more cool stuff. Some stuff that I never thought of doing in my whole life. And we're going to be returning back to some classic spots like Turtlehead Peak, Valley of Fire, and Gold Strike Hot Springs. So I hope you enjoy reminiscing with me some of, some of the cool moments of season one. And here's to a better season two. Everybody, please like, subscribe, click that bell if you want to see more content just like this. Check, check the link in the description for our merch. And I will see you again in the next video. Everybody, take care.